notes sound good together. You're a tabulated, basically a D4. D, if you play that on an, on an instrument, it's fundamental, will be at 294 hertz. Its second harmonic is going to be twice that. So this is roughly 300, this is roughly 600. Um, here's the third harmonic, which is three times this, which is, you can see, it's nearly 900, just under 900, and so on. Now, if you were to look at A, D and A sound very nice together. You can play those two together. And what you'll see is that if we take A, A is at 440 hertz, its second harmonic is at 880 hertz, its third harmonic is three times 440, and so on. Now, what you can see is that the second harmonic of A shares the same frequency as the third harmonic of D. And the fourth harmonic change to, uh, of A has the same as the sixth harmonic of D. And so these shared harmonics makes that sound sound harmonious. So if you play those two together, we can actually see where those shared harmonics are. If you play the A and then the D. Yeah, A and D back and forth. So here's this, this frequency you hear shared between the, those two strings, for instance. Now, if there was two notes that were didn't share a lot of harmonics together, it'd sound very dissonant. But that adds that adds tension to the music and makes the interest the music more interesting. Unless it's music, and then it has none of that stuff, right? So, <laughs> elevator music would be absent of all those interesting bits. That's right. So, and then if you put it all together. something that sounds like this after years of practice.